Yo, what's good? My name is Marlon. Welcome back to TNN. And I'm Ariel, and today is August 23rd, and here are your general announcements. If you're interested in getting the Heals My Multilingual Proficiency, it is available online, and if you have any other questions, you can go to Miss Flores. It is a way to show off that you have an ability of speaking more than one language, and the deadline is August 31st. The Anime Club is now meeting on Thursdays in room 305 after school from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Um, the Gay Straight Alliance is now meeting on Thursdays on room 304 from 3 to 4 p.m. If you are an FFA, the first meeting for FFA will be August 30th. Be there by 6.15 p.m. The meeting starts at 6.30 p.m. In the PHS cafeteria, there will be free barbecue meal for those attending the meeting. Guitar and Ukulele Club are now meeting on Mondays in room 607. If you don't know how to play, you can still come to the meeting and you can learn. Or if you already know how to play, come join and show us what you're all about. The PHS Book Club first meeting is Tuesday, August 30th. August 30th, sorry, in room 703 after school. Choosing officers and choosing first book. <laughs> Girls soccer, there is a mandatory meeting. Mandatory meeting. August 30th, room 100 after school. There will be a short mandatory meeting for boys basketball tomorrow in room 510 after school. Um, oh, and I'm sorry. <laughs> the meeting is necessary if you want to join the basketball team. Attention all seniors. The SAT exams are around the corner, so make sure you're ready for them. Um, the SAT scores are used to <laughs> place you for your four-year colleges in math and English. The next SAT exam is October 1st. Register by September 1st. Um, fee waivers are available with Mr. Leonard in the office. We're finally getting a break from the heat with it cooling down to the mid-90s and then the 80s this weekend. Enjoy it while it lasts. Here's Michael Bosky with sports. Thank you, Carly. The United States took a total of 121 medals this year at the 2016 Rio Olympics with 46 gold, 37 silver, and 38 bronze. Take that, China. And in baseball news, the Dodgers have reclaimed the lead in the NL West, so Giants fans, you better start worrying. And the A's sadly are in fourth place, so it's a bad year to be an A's fan. Hello everyone, I'm here with our AD and head football coach, Mr. Kozart. How are you doing? Great, I'm doing great. Alright, so first off, how was the scrimmage last Saturday against Golden Valley? Uh, the scrimmage went really well. We had uh, a lot of guys getting some, a lot of quality reps. Um, we competed really well, which was the biggest thing that I wanted to see. Uh, we stayed, for the most part, we stayed pretty healthy. Um, you know, Golden Valley it was, is a, uh, an up-and-coming program that they're actually building and they should be pretty well this year. Um, and we did, you know, we did really well against them, and 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 our ones and our twos, and and even our depth, our depth I think was better than they were, and um, and it was really good. Like I, like I said, I think we're very pleased. Things we can work on for sure, but you know, as always, it was a it was a good showing. Good to hear, good to hear. And last year, you guys probably had one of the best teams in recent school history. So how can you tell me that this year's team is different from last year's? Well, right out of the right out of the, the gate. The experience is um, the biggest thing. Last year's team, you know, didn't have the experience of that uh, that to make a run deep into you know into playoffs or you know to win the playoff game. We didn't win a playoff game in about four years, so uh, they've had experience winning, but winning games that uh, they were winning games that that probably should have been won instead of competing through the games and, and fighting through some games and adversity. This year's team has all of that experience from last year to go off of. And so um, the juniors that were on the team last year and the sophomores that were on the team last year are the leaders now that are showing the younger guys how it, it's – how did we get to 11-1 and one last year? They're, they're really showing the, the younger guys, like, how we did it. And um, that's the biggest thing is last year we didn't have – nobody could show anybody because it was all brand new. And now they've got the blueprint and they can kind of lead the way. And there's a lot more leadership there. Um, and so, and a lot of high character. That's good. Good, good. And well, everyone's been wondering. Big game this this week. You guys ready? Ask me on Thursday. All we got, right. We got practice today. Uh, first time that we're gonna see anything rela remotely close to Palo Alto. Uh, and then uh, we'll just be working all week. And Thursday, Thursday, you know, one way or the other, right? Because there's nothing more to go. Good, good. And what can you tell us about this week in sports for high school? This week in sports is going to be uh, JV and Varsity are traveling to Palo Alto to take on uh, Palo Alto High School on Friday in football. And then volleyball will be in a, a tournament down in Oristimba. The Varsity will be in a tournament on Oristimba on Saturday. And that's really all we have for sports this, year, uh, this week. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. I am Nathan Bold, and this is Politics. And uh, nothing new has been announced uh, in political news in America. 
But there has been some new news on Donald Trump's immigration law. He has introduced an extreme vetting immigration law. And because of this, he has been losing a lot of his swing states. And uh, an FBI probe has found 15,000 more Hillary Clinton emails to further investigate. Now it's time to talk about homecoming. Our homecoming is October 3rd through the 7th, and we have three themes that we want you to choose from. Underwear, which includes everywhere under. Under the sea, under construction, under the stage lights, and so on. Once Upon a Homecoming, which is our favorite childhood stories. State of Mind, which includes our favorite states and cities. Make sure to vote on tallyspace.com and log in. Enter your ID number and your last name. And this will conclude TNN News. More, More at, at 11. 11.